All right, joining me now, Liz Peek, syndicated columnist, Fox News contributor, Tammy Bruce, Fox News contributor and author of Fear Itself, Exposing the Left's Mind-Killing Agenda. Um, just for a few moments, ladies, thank you for coming on. You saw the interview with uh, Christy Nome. Uh, what did you think? Tammy, start it off, please. Well, it's hard to see her not out of the prism of uh, the news that has come from her book. Uh, and uh, I, I think it's a problem. I think she's trying to manage that problem. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, I'm not impressed. Let mm. me just be, be as diplomatic as I can be. Uh, and uh, I think that's, though, what campaigns are for and what primaries are for, is you get to know people. People get to know themselves, and we get to know them. And for me, uh, it's, uh, she's not on that list of someone who would, I think, be of good service to this country. Liz, any? Uh, I agree. And, but to me, it's really all about the lack of understanding uh, that led her to put this in incident in a book, not knowing that this was going to cause an uproar and a political problem for her. Remember, I think I mentioned to you this before, uh, Mitt Romney, most people remember Mitt Romney as having put the dog on the top of his car. Yeah. End of discussion. It killed him. I mean, and here we are. So. Well, I will say one thing. I mean, we're all dog people here, which is great. Um, I think Christy Nome's a dog person. But she did say that rumors and stories had been around for a long time. Mm. And she therefore thought it would yeah. be important to put it in. I had never heard that. In, in a sense, it's a, it's a lose, it's a very difficult thing to do. But she wanted to, to clear that up. But, but the other point I would say, uh, Tammy, wh whether she's in vice presidential race sure. or not, um, it is a different Republican Party. It is a working folks Republican Party, mm. which Trump has em emphasized throughout this campaign sure. and which uh, Christy Noem subscribes to. Well, uh, yes, uh, as do a lot of other people, if not the majority of Americans. Uh, but this is, these are issues of judgment. And it's issues of, a hum of the humane nature of how we get things done. Mm. Being a conservative doesn't mean that you're rough or unthinking or inhumane, even though the left has tried to portray conservatives in that manner. So th the issue is more, again, about judgment, which has, has been, I think, a general issue uh, in, in her case. But also, it's not even about, you know, euthanizing an animal. It's the nature of the choice that is made and how you do it. Bringing in another animal into that pit, a goat, me shooting them, which means one animal saw the other one being shot. The terror involved in that environment. So it's not about how you make the choice that this, and many Americans, if not most who are dog people, have had to make that choice when there's an illness or even violence. Uh, so it's a matter of judgment, and I think that's what uh, will follow this story. Um, let's peak. Republicans raised a lot of money in April and wow. early May, something like <laughs> 75 million bucks, according yeah. to the RNC meeting in Mar-a-Lago. Um, let's see, oh, well over half came from small donors. What does that tell you? Yeah, I think that's really it goes to the point you were just trying to make that it's a working class. Uh, uh, movement really to elect Donald Trump. And I was very impressed. Laura Trump came out over the weekend and said the average gift donation was $30. That's mm. incredible, mm. considering that they just had that big dinner uh, hosted by uh, a billionaire and we had a lot of $10 million checks probably floating in. So that's very impressive. And I think a lot of it has to do with the trial that's going on, Larry. Mm -hmm. People are really angry. Christy Nome was totally right. People are angry at seeing Donald Trump in a courtroom day after day angry about the gag order, angry about the way he's being treated. I I'm angry. I mean, I think it's so offensive. And, you know, I think the president is totally right to talk about it being a disgrace and an embarrassment to New York City and our justice system here. I agree with that 100 percent. Tammy Bruce, how this judge, I, look, I don't know him from Adam. I'm not even a lawyer. But a, a gag order, what many people say is unconstitutional, certainly President Trump says it, to put the former president, maybe the future president, in jail? <laughs> really? Huh. Over this? Really? Yeah. Well, it, this is the whole problem with all the indictments. All of them are absurd. Once they went to the point that we are going to stop him using the justice system, huh. then anything goes. Baked in to this dynamic is the expectation that they'll put him in jail. If the people think, oh, it's, if he gets indicted or he goes to jail, the support will go away. 
Oh, uh, quite the opposite. If that was going to happen, the, the support would have evaporated the moment he was charged with one thing, with the Mar-a-Lago, you know, documents issue. The opposite occurred, because Americans, we've seen this. We know the justice system has been unfair. He ran on it before about a two-tier system of justice. The frightening thing for Americans is he can withstand it because he's Donald Trump and has some money. This happens to Americans. Right. Unfair charges. Right. You plead to something lower even though you're innocent because you've got a public defender and, and you can't afford to have a real defense. This is frightening because this is, it's not new. They didn't just show up for Donald Trump. This is what we've complained about. So this is the kind of thing, it's remarkable it's happened to Trump who can withstand it. But we've got his back is what the American Trump people Trump always says, a very important point, I think. It could happen to you, yes. or you, or you, or you. I mean, that is what people are thinking when they see this. But, but Larry, I don't think in my lifetime I've ever seen political prosecutions. And mm. we're, we've mm. seen a whole slew of them mm. under this president and this administration. I think that is something new, and I think that is particularly uh, problematic and, uh, yeah, actually frightening. Because uh, you feel like if you get on the wrong side of this administration, all of a sudden you're in the crosshairs. And they can come after you for a whole host of reasons. Um, that's bad. And the fact that they're trying to possibly jail Donald Trump because he's not abiding by an unconstitutional uh, gag order, it, how offensive is that? It, it's, it's preposterous. Offense. It's preposterous, and it is there, a desperation. The, the level of desperation is remarkable. Uh, and the American people, it, boy, they're going to get the opposite of what they expect. I got to get out because we're pressed for time. You know, I was going to ask you, Tammy, if you saw a vice president in Mar-a-Lago. Oh, wait a minute. Did you see a vice president in Mar-a-Lago <laughs> in 10 seconds? Uh, 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 I, I, you can pass. I, I'm, I'm going to pass right now. Liz, did you I'm see one? I'm not supposed to ask you. I have to ask you. Uh, not sure. Not sure. Boy, what's up with that? No, not, I wasn't at Mar-a-Lago. And the pursuit of happiness or freedom <laughs> or something. Liz Peek and Danny Bruce.